This is the completion of the day, so thank you all very much. If you want to try this out, if you want to make a build of this, simply go to File, Build Settings, and then Build and Run. And that will create a build for either your, your Mac or your PC that you can then play. It's a fully built version of the game, so definitely check that out. Um, we do want to thank very much uh, the folks from Cybernetic Walrus uh, for the assets from this game, Anti-Graviator. So thank you all very, very much. Definitely check them out uh, at the, uh, the Made with Unity uh, Expo, so they got their booth there. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you so very much. Really do appreciate it. Without them, this game would look like total garbage, trust me. Uh, so uh, luckily it does not. So uh, as you complete the last step here, I know a lot of you are still working. Uh, and then if you have questions, we've got some mics set up here. So feel free to come on up and ask some questions too. Um, we're happy to answer those. And then otherwise, uh, we're going to wrap it up. And, and you guys have made it to the very end. So congratulations. Hey. Uh the Text Mesh Pro switching clip um, has a hard text input. Is there any, um, any way to get a variable, or is there a plan to one day make that possibly a variable, dynamic variable input? Andy's the one who wrote that. Andy, you want to answer that? He asked about Text Mesh Pro, the, uh, the clip uh, that you wrote. Uh, basically, right now, you type in the value that you want there, but is there any way to make that dynamic? Uh, Dynamic in which way? Um, say, say the text could say off or it could say on, depending on some other background thing that's happening. Oh, okay. So, like, oh, another example is player types in their name, and it says hello, Mike, or hello, Andy, or whatever it may be. So, this is more of a general timeline thing, but all of those clip data, about, clip data like text mesh pro size, um, audio clip that you play, all that stuff can be scripted and modified, actually. So you could actually have a script that says, go to this specific clip in timeline, and change it to say, instead of hello, placeholder, it says, hello, Mike, because someone input Mike. Again, to pimp out, Chiro's talk goes into scripting for timelines. He's actually going to show a couple of examples. I'm not sure exactly this example. I can't actually see him. Um, but his talk is going to go into that. So you can um, programmatically bind things at runtime, which is actually what the enhanced version does. And you can also change all those values dynamically as well. So the editor is just, you type it in like anything, but you can change all that via script. Thanks. All right, so real quick, uh, doesn't seem to we have any questions right now. We want to show you real quick here uh, what the other version of the project is. So here I have what we're calling the enhanced version. And we've got a uh, couple controllers here. So Andy and I are going to race to sort of settle this one. And what's cool is we're going to see a, a, a few different things. So we're going to see how we can uh, basically dynamically bind some timeline stuff, how it's going to go from one camera down into two as the race is going to start. And it has support for two controllers here. So we can see there, now it's gone into each one there. And uh, we'll race, I'm the one on the right, uh, and uh, we'll see. You've definitely rigged your ship too fast, though. I have not done any such thing. Yeah, have a look at that. It helps if you don't hit the wall. Generally speaking, I mean, uh, I'm no expert, but. Yeah, I can't catch up now. You, not with that attitude. Oh man, I'm way ahead of you. Can you, please, can you please crash to make it? You know, sometimes you just almost get too good at something. And it just, I don't know, takes the thrill out of the hunt. It makes it look like it's a one player game. If you slow down a little bit, you can see the other ships racing on the track. Well, I can see you, I just see the back of you as I'm about to pass you again. Physical wounds heal, mental ones don't. Oh, that's just devastating. We're recording this too. I know. So this is I just, know. it's gonna live forever. Oh, man. Yes. Yeah. I mean, this is obviously the trial run. We have to do the proper one next. Oh. And, oh. So good. I definitely think there's GT in that. Uh, so good. Oh. It's like a great home cooked meal, it just warms you inside. So, anyone okay, want to try? Can someone turn off his mic, please? <laughs> <laughs> anyone want to give it a whirl? Thank you.
You guys, how about you guys? You guys want to play? Oh, the Astro engine. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. No, I think you two should race each other. I think, all right, so we're going to get the uh, anti gravitator folks up here, uh, Cybernetic Well, we're just going to let them do this. So, gas, reverse, brake, left, right. So, gas, reverse, brake, left, right. Cool. Well, those are different than our control. I know, we, we wanted to make it a little bit different. <laughs> that first curve is off. You realize if player two wins, then your ship's definitely rigged. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, the walls are the walls are closer on for player one. It's a very cheap trick there. And we still have ten more minutes. If anyone else would like to come out and play, or if anyone else has any other questions or anything else we can help with, otherwise we're doing talks all week. Come check us out. We've got an Ask the Experts booth, uh, and we'll just be around. Cybernetic champion. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thanks. Uh, fantastic. How about a round of applause for the event staff who ran this today, which is awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Great job. I right, enjoy the rest of your night. Cheers.